Hello there, it's your favorite Uncle Josh, and we are back with Wendy Darling Hook. What if Wendy Darling and Captain James Hook got married? So without further delay, let's get into it, shall we? <clears throat> Hello there, Perrys and Winkles, as my mother would say. <laughs> so I'm back. I have to come to the realization that there is romance in this book, or in this tale. Then again, the title does give it away. However, I hope and pray that it's not oversaturated with gooey love. Ew. Okay. Anywho, you're all here to see what is going on with Wendy and her parents after World War V match. Well, let's keep the page turning, shall we? The night before she had to leave for the U.S., she had many emotions and situations. She could not believe that her father was going to ship her to another part of the world to protect his precious image. Wendy knew she was different, but not that different from where she was to be banished from her own kin. She did not want to go to the U.S. to study or to find a husband. Wendy wanted to stay in London and dream. Something inside of her said that she had to leave or risk being shipped away. She stepped out of her cozy bed and put on her factory work boots that she hid from her parents. She crept down the staircase that was remodeled the year before and walked out of the door that carried memories of her infancy and childhood. She strolled down the concrete steps onto the freshly rained sidewalk and walked hastily as the mist cooled her face each step. She stepped in a few puddles that made the bottom of her dress damp. She walked hurriedly, not knowing where she was going or who she was going to see. All she knew was she had to get far away from her parents as quickly as possible. She just followed her fantasies and led her to the docks. She arrived at the docks where the ships came and left each day for a variety of reasons. She went to the edge of the pier, fighting against the thick fog, and waited. As she waited, Wendy could smell the air mixed with salt, smug, and possibilities. She did not know what or who she was waiting for. She stood there, washed out the sea, as if she was waiting for a ride. Suddenly, a ship was fighting its way through the thick fog, fog, like the fog was holding it back. It finally broke free and sailed right to Wendy, as if she was the lighthouse that led them to shore. As the boat was sailing up to her, she noticed something truly odd about the ship. It was not making any splashes or waves that typical of a sailing on the ship that are typical of sailing on the ship. In fact, the boat did not seem to be in water at all. It was more like hovering over it, like a dragonfly soaring across the lake. She was a little startled, but not surprised. The ship halted in front of her. The door opened to set of stairs tailored with the most beautiful wood in all of England. Wendy stood, Wendy took a step towards the stairs and stopped. She looked up and saw a figure standing there with a long red pirate hat. Wendy stood there in awe. A figure standing, Wendy stood there in awe for a second, N not embarrassing who this figure, not Excuse me, you guys. Wendy stood there in awe for a second, not embarrassed on trying to figure out who the figure was. Huh? Hello? She asked, who are you? The figure standing at the top said nothing. Can I trust you? The figure still said nothing. Wendy put her head and contemplated her next move. She was almost about to abort her plans and return back home to her mundane life with her brothers and family. She felt as if, it, if she needed a sign that this was the ride she was waiting on. As if to figure her thoughts, he lifted his left arm up. Wendy noticed a gleaming coming from the moon and looked at the figure. She saw the gleam was coming from the figure. Wendy noticed that the figure had a hook in place of a hand. And with that, she smiled as she walked up the stairs. Hmm. Y'all, I hope Wendy know what she's doing. I would be concerned for her if I did not have wonders. 
so I know at any given time I can swoop in and save the day. There's a ton of paperwork that follows that, but it's typically working for me anyway. Well, I'm excited to see what's going on at the top of this ship. I know you are too, but that's just going to have to wait. <laughs> Keep the page turning.